All right, now in this particular case here, um, this is a little bit more classical. We see two unknowns at C. So the problem is as though it's screaming for us. To take moments about me. So if we take moments about C, then our CY and CX, CY and CX, and call this one A. So anyway, moments about point C will eliminate CX and CY. So then the only other known in the equation is going to be A. And now you can do your forces in the X and that will get you CX and forces in the Y will get you CY. Okay, and our last one here, we have our reaction A, T, and C. All right, well, if I do forces in the Y, that's not good. Two unknowns there. Forces X, well, just part of T in the X and C's in the X, that's not good. Okay. And only one unknown here, one unknown here, and only one unknown here. So I'm looking for that common point, so I don't see it. Aha, but there is a common point. If we were to go ahead and extend this on across and this on up, you can see that these two happen to go right through this point, so we can make up our own point. So let's see, let's call this point um, D, right? We can use any point in the entire universe. And it just happens in this particular case here because this is 45 and this is distance A from here to here and this is distance A that this particular force goes through here as well. Okay. All right, so now we can take moments about point D. And if we take moments about point D, okay, well, this one cancels. This one cancels. And C cancels. Let's just think this through a little bit more. Well, if all three of those cancel, then in our moment equation we have um, negative rotation of P times A equals zero. So what that tells us is this problem's not stable, okay? Because we're assuming that P is not zero, and of course we know that the distance A is not zero. In fact, let's go ahead and write that out. So we have minus P times A, and both of these are non-zero terms, so this structure is unstable. And when you kind of study it a little bit, if you were to apply this force here, you can see this wire would go slack. Okay, so it probably would not be um, um, a very good scenario. Okay, this thing would probably just come um, collapsing on down. Okay. All right, that doesn't happen very often, but those are types of things in engineering that we need to make sure that. Um, that we do account for. Okay, so we'd probably have to change um, our design a little bit to make sure that it's that it is stable.